You are now entering the mind of one of rock's greatest musicians. A former singer of Styx. The exclusive podcast, Come Sail Away, with Dennis D. Young. Hey kids, how you doing? Uh, first, I want to send out um, all well wishes and best of everything to all the people who have been affected by Harvey. Uh, I know you're probably, a lot of you still struggling to try to get through this, and we haven't stopped thinking about you, that's for sure. And to all my friends, and particularly my daughter Carrie Ann down there in Florida, I'm saying, get out! I, t- I called my, my daughter today, actually this is going to air Friday, so uh, this is Wednesday. Uh, I called her and told her to get on an airplane and come, come back up here for goodness sakes. You know, we're from the Midwest, we don't know that much about hurricanes, so uh, I think she's coming up tomorrow, so I'm, I'm feeling good about that. Anyway, what are we going to talk about today? Well, how about Vivo? Do you guys know what Vivo is? Well, that's a video streaming service that uh, the, the major record companies actually own, and they provide uh, you know a myriad of videos for you to watch. And it, it's pretty cool because the quality is very good on Vivo. But I've been a little puzzled because for the last seven years, since the invention of Vivo, I have been waiting patiently for them to request the usages of videos like Don't Let It End, The Best of Times, Babe and Mr. Roboto, and uh, Show Me the Way. Yeah, all that. See, because they came in the very beginning, seven years ago, they came to me and they immediately asked me for Desert Moon. But inexplic- inexplicably, none of these other stick songs. And, and speaking of Show Me the Way, did you guys know that Michael Bay directed Show Me the Way? Michael Bay, the famous Michael Bay. You know, the guy, uh, all those Transformer movies and Pearl Harbor and that movie where Bruce Willis, with the aid of, I think, uh, lots of people, saves the earth. Is you know Armageddon, that's right. And the bad boys, he's a very successful guy. But, you know, I, I, I saw a, a video reel of of his uh, music videos that he had done, the, the the few that he had done, and I picked him right off that reel. I said, "This guy, he knows what he's doing." So he did the first two videos off of Edge of the Century, which were uh, "Love Is the Ritual," which is your your typical you know quick cut band trying to look sexy and cool into some girl splashing in the water in the bathtub in slow mo, all that nonsense. And then he did brilliantly. Uh, Show Me the Way, which is my my favorite Sticks video of all time. It's just, it's a masterpiece. If you haven't seen it, check it out on YouTube. It's up there. Show Me the Way. Just beautiful. Very unlike anything that Michael Bay has ever done as far as I'm aware of. Anyway, we've got all these things up there on video, but we got we got none of these videos. Don't Let It End, Best of Times, Show Me the Way, Babe, Mr. Roboto. How is that possible? So um, what's good about video? Well, how about they have worldwide reach? And they have this crazy habit of paying artists for number of views. Hey, let's not get carried away now. What's next? Paying for music? Silly goose. Anyway, I finally got tired of waiting. So I did some calling around to, you know, to look under every rock. And lo and behold, I found somebody. Yeah, a guy named Doug Barish. And uh, they're all up now, except show me the way which I've been told is going to be coming. So what was the catalyst for to get me off my duff and finally do something? Um, well... It was some recent additions to Vivo uh, that were made from my former colleagues' new ventures, which include a new album and a new DVD of theirs. And I start to think, why were all those aforementioned stick songs and their official videos, which I wrote and sang with sticks, omitted when they were all substantial hits, including Babe, our only number one song? I guess, well, I just thought it must have been some crazy oversight. Anyway, they're all up there now. You can just, you know, go to the YouTube and type in Sticks, uh, I think, um, Vivo. And, and a whole whole list of them will come up. You can you can check them out. It's good. Anyway, the, the Don't Let It End video, which was the first one put up, was done and filmed on the Kilroy set with uh, prison costumes. All the band members wore prison costumes that were taken from the o- opening dramatic movie. We did it to save money. Uh, but anyway, remember... Uh, MTV uh, was brand new in 1983. In fact, I when I first started the Kilroy Project, I didn't even know that there was such a thing as MTV because uh, I lived in Chicago. We didn't get cable to 1984. And all of 1982, when it started to make its mark, uh, we were sequestered in Chicago recording and, and figuring out the whole Kilroy Project. So I didn't even know, it, you know it, it actually existed. And we certainly didn't realize 
um, that it would become so vital to the promotion of music or we would have dressed nicer on that prison soundstage, I guarantee it, perhaps some satin and lame. Always helpful to prevent recidivism. That's what I was told. Anyway, in the original draft that I wrote for this concept, this Kilroy was here thing, <clears throat> there was a love interest for Kilroy. Uh, he was married, yeah. And this compounded the loss and the dramatic tension when he gets arrested and framed for murder that he does not commit. So I thought that would be an interesting thing. But early on, <clears throat> I realized that this would require uh, someone to fill that role and would require a song for, the, for whoever the actress was. And it would have been, you know, kind of a pain out on the road trying to make that happen. And additionally, that would have, you know, taken the focus from the band members only. And that also would have presented an unnecessary distraction. Still, I had the song written. It was a pretty good one called Don't Let It End. And our director, may he rest in peace, Brian Gibson, and he was also the screenwriter, screenwriter, came up with the idea of me singing in this video to my lost spouse from um, what starts out looking like, um, I guess, like a, a hotel room that morphs into uh, a, a prison. Um, the role of the wife via a small cameo and a photograph was portrayed by a beautiful, sexy, young Hollywood starlet named Suzanne, simply Suzanne, who I went on to have a torrid love affair, which has uh, lasted till this very day. We had actually met earlier at the birth of our children. Anyway, if you watch this video, check out my little scarf. Yikes. What am I in? Dexy's Midnight Runners? I don't know what the hell that was. But I don't know. Anyway. anyway, in theory, um, this video begins in a hotel room and then morphs dramatically to the prison floor. Uh, although for me, prison and hotel rooms are synonymous. For those of us who have spent our lifetime in them, we can never, we never can, they don't, they never seem like vacation spots. No, they smell like work. And the worst thing that can happen to you is when you're going to check into your room, you go put, stick the key in the door, you get a look at the person who stayed there the night before you were in there. You'll have nightmares, I guarantee you. You'll have to change rooms. I know I have. Uh, anyway, my, my dislike four hotel rooms has kept me from enjoying vacations, which, oddly enough, my family seems to enjoy vacations. My kids would go, Dad, you kill Joy. You kill Joy. They would shout because I wouldn't go on a vacation. I would tell the kids, that's Kilroy, kids. I'm Kilroy. How many times must I say this to you? So, anyway, all the videos are up for the most part. You can check them out. And I must admit, I had to look at um, Don't Let It End, a video I have not watched. I can't remember how long it's been. And I did find it uh, a tad campy, but uh, it's a good one nonetheless. Does anyone, anyone remember Tad Campy? He was a weatherman in Phoenix. And for years, for years he worked there. And I think being a weatherman in Phoenix requires you telling folks exactly how much of their skin will burn off and blow away on any given day. It's a dry heat. It's a dry heat. Oh, and another thing. Uh, by the way, if you're going to watch Show Me The Way, check it out. My son, who was, I think, nine years old at the time, is in that video. He's one of the kids that's, uh, that's featured. Not the, not, the, not the main kid. He's the kid with the dark hair who kicks up the, uh, the, the sand in the desert. That's my boy, Matt, who grew up to be my lighting director. Isn't that something? I'll tell you. It is something. Anyway, um... That's it from me here today. I hope the universe is spinning your, in your direction, so thanks. Enlightening? Perhaps. Entertaining? Always. Thanks for listening to the podcast, Come Sail Away, with Dennis DeYoung. Get the next new episode Friday morning at 7 a.m. on this website.